going to talk about excuses. How many of us make excuses? Maybe we make excuses for why we can't start our business. Maybe we are making excuses for why we can't be more organized or why we aren't more available for the people that matter. What excuses are you making for yourself? Are there excuses that you've internalized from things that people have told you? Are they excuses from things that have happened to you in your childhood that you haven't let go of? And think about it for a minute. How are those excuses impacting you? I want to share a personal testimony today. My excuses consumed me. I spent years saying that I wanted to start a business. I had all these great ideas and really I was, I had the skills, you know, I, I counseled for years and I have a counseling master's degree and I counseled for years. And so to move over, the two were evenly related. So it was an easy move, but I made all these excuses for why I couldn't do it why I wouldn't be relatable, why people wouldn't want to speak to me, why it wouldn't be a good move, why I would be unsuccessful, why I wouldn't be seen as an expert, why I couldn't do it. Just, I mean, excuses on top of excuses. Um, and instead of working through my excuses and trying to figure out ways that I could overcome them, I internalized them. I made them like my best friends. I held tight to these excuses, but I let them paralyze them, paralyze me. And so my my task for you today is to identify what excuses in your life are paralyzing you. What excuses are you making that are keeping you held back, that are keeping you from reaching your goals, that are keeping you from being the greatest version of yourself? You have to stop that. You have to stop internalizing those excuses. And so the one thing that I did when I started to say these things to myself or I had this negative thinking is I would challenge each negative thought. So for example, one of the things is I one of the things that I would always tell myself is I'll never be seen as an expert. You know, who am I? I'm just little old Nicolia. Nobody will ever see me as a standout coach. I'll just kind of blend um, with everyone else. And in reality, that's not true. There's plenty of reasons I could be seen as an expert. I could be seen as an expert because I'm an author. I could be seen as an expert because I have a master's degree in counseling and had years of techniques and practice that I can incorporate now into my coaching practice. I could be seen as an expert simply because I'm passionate about what it is that I do with clients. I am passionate and obsessed with seeing breakthroughs with my clients and with women. So there's multiple reasons that I can be seen as an expert, but all I did was focus on all the reasons that I could never be seen as an expert. And so my challenge or my task or my assignment for you today is to write down all of the opposite things of your excuses. So take one excuse. Maybe your excuse is, well, I'll never be able to be on top of my money. I'll always be behind and always be living paycheck to paycheck. First, identify where is that excuse coming from? Is that because maybe you were poor in a ch as a child? Is that because people have told you like it will never happen or you've seen people around you struggle and you just feel like that's what you should accept for your life? Instead of doing that, think of all the reasons that you can be prosperous. So I can be prosperous. I just have to be in better control of my money. I can be pro prosperous as long as I believe it. I can be prosperous as long as I make the right choices. You know, start to challenge those negative thinking, those negative thoughts, and those excuses of all the things that you can't do and change that to all the things that you are actually capable of doing. You'd be surprised how much power it is that starts all up here. All the control is in our mind. And it goes back to my favorite quote, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're right. And so it all starts up here is thinking what those thoughts are, overcoming those excuses and making it to the other side. You see, had I lived in, um, had I lived in that belief, had I allowed those excuses to consume me forever, it was already way too long for the amount of time that I did, but had I continued to allow those excuses to consume me, I'd never be where I'm at today. I'd never be able to reach the women that I'm reaching today. I'd never be successful in my business. I would never be proud of myself for stepping outside of that. I wouldn't have the strength that I had because it takes a lot of strength to overcome those excuses. And so I want that for you. I want you to live the life that you want to live. I want you to reach the goals that you desire to reach. I want you to be prosperous and happy and successful. But that all comes with overcoming those excuses. So let me know how it goes when you're working through overcoming those excuses and challenge them, challenging them with positive thoughts. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.